Hey guys, I'm Chef T Max. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a simple pasta, kind of Oktoberfesty feel with uh, some egg noodles, beautiful, and some kielbasa. Who doesn't like that? So I'll see you guys back in a second. If you're not subscribing, do so right now and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Also ring that bell and I'll send you stuff I have coming up in the future. So I'll be back in a second with this pasta dish. Hey guys, all right, we're back. We're going to start this pasta dish off now. One of the things, I mean, October comes around, I start thinking of sausage and all of that, and I just love making all those great schnitzels and, and really cool German food, uh, you know, that comes to mind for me during those times. I uh, was able to really go to Oktoberfest uh, multiple times in my life and have always enjoyed it. I love that style of food. So whenever I think of October, I'm thinking of German food. So we're going to make kind of a very simple dish at home I want to show you guys. So first I'm going to start with some ghee. Now if you don't have ghee you can use butter but when you use ghee it's, uh, it's already been clarified so it's not going to burn. Uh, it has a high burning uh, content so I can cook this really hot. So if you don't know how to make ghee click right here and you can see my video on how to make ghee. And, so, and the ghee stays like this in your fridge. You can leave it out even at room temperature. A lot of, pe a lot of people do. Um, but if you put it in your fridge it lasts pretty much forever because um, it's already been clarified of the milk solid. So with, but the, what's cool about it is it gives you a really nutty taste from the butter and it gives you um, that, that kind of that beautiful uh, flavor of a bre almost like a brown butter flavor that you would get. Okay, so I just scoop some out, probably a couple of tablespoons. I'm going to let that get hot. The cool part about it is, like I said, there's no milk solids left in this. So it's, it can get very hot. Now we're going to start this off. You can see I have a really nice uh, kibasi here. This is a smoked uh, pork sausage. So it's already been cooked. So we just need to kind of cut it. I'm, not, I'm just going to slice it. I like to have big pieces of uh, kibasi in my pasta, in my noodle pasta. Um, if you wanted to like cut it really small uh, into little dices, you could do that, but you don't have to. So you can see how I just take this and I just slice it right like this and then when I get to the like where it's straight like that then I can turn this and do that okay so this is already cooked it doesn't need that much time but I do want to put a little sear on it but other stuff I want to sear first like my um, onions and my Brussels sprouts so Brussels sprouts I don't really like Brussels sprouts when they're just boiled so I definitely like to cook them hard so with the onions, I also don't want them to be tiny. I want them to be big like these. So we're just going to go with slices. So I turned, I cut the onion in half after I peeled it. And then we're just slicing it like this. And I hate when I drop stuff all over the floor, but I just did. And then you got to be careful here too. You don't want this thing sparking at you, right? So what, you see how I'm like slicing this like this? Super simple, right? And then that's it. And then we have this really nice hot oil. Now, with that hot oil, while it's going with the onions, boom, we're just going to move them around a little bit in there. Um, I have some Brussels sprouts. You can see I've just cut those in half. Actually, I've already cut them in half, so I don't even have to show you how to do that. You guys know how to do that, right? You just cut them in half. How simple is that? But they're tiny, and that's something, uh, you know, it takes a second to do that. We want to do that because we want to put a nice sear on these. So at this point, I'm going to salt them. Now, we don't want to go heavy with salt on this dish because the, you know, this, uh, this kibasa usually are very savory, garlicky, salty. Okay. So I don't go with heavy garlic on this. If you like garlic, feel free to add in a couple tablespoons or a tablespoon of chopped garlic. It's fine. I'm going to put a little salt, but more so pepper. Okay. Now this dish could go either one of two ways. And this is a pasta that, you know, I would eat at home. We're eating at home, you know, uh, in, in this time of year. So I would have one of two ways to go when it comes to the sauce. I would either do white wine with a little cream and some Gruyere cheese in there. That would be really nice in German with the noodles, right? Maybe a little sour cream at the end. Um, really great dish with that. Um, and, I, you know, that's kind of similar to how you finish off a Hungarian paprikash. But you could make it creamy like that. But today I had some really nice cherry tomatoes from my garden still at the end of the season. So what I did was I just pureed them up and I didn't do anything to them. I literally washed the cherry tomatoes, threw them in this 
Nutribullet and just blend it. I didn't add oil or anything. So that's going to add a little bit of tomato product to that. So I'm not done. I want to sear this really nice and hard. Now, while we're waiting for those to sear, I'll take my mushrooms. So here I've got a nice uh, bunch of, uh, this is like one, basically one pint of mushrooms. And these are just creminis. You can see they're just brown mushrooms. You could use the white mushrooms if you want. It's not going to change anything, right? And then I just slice them down without slicing your fingers, okay? Always keep your finger tucked away like that so you don't slice your fingertips, okay? And never lifting your knife too high, like high like this, right? Keep them so your knuckles guide the the uh, mushroom like that. And then I'll throw the mushrooms in the top of this, okay? I'm not going to stir it because I want what I want to do is let that onion and Brussels sprout kind of char a little. And then we'll stir it because there's nothing worse than just a blanched Brussels sprout. But when you put some color on it, whether you fry them or you roast them, or you saute them hard, they're awesome. So with these, again, you can see it's just this little tapping motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bam, done, right? And you can buy them sliced already. It's a little bit better deal if you do this, slice it yourself, and it doesn't take that long. And you get to practice your knife skills. So I know all of you need that, right? Everybody does, even I, you need to always practice my knife skills. So with that, I'm putting that here. Now, I told you guys about the cream with the Gruyere, and I'm a little bit sad right now because I actually, I'm kind of feeling that. I really love that. If you were going to do that, what I would suggest you put in right now is a little bit of caraway seeds. If you don't have those, a little cumin seed, right? That cumin seed, caraway seed with Gruyere cheese and, and cream like that, and these Brussels sprouts and onions and all that, it's a really good combination. So now I'm going to stir it. And you can see I'm getting a little bit of brown on the bottom of this, which is perfect. This is exactly what I want, right? And now my mushrooms are going to start to cook. And then I'm going to add my sausage. Okay? Mmm. So you're saying, you're, you're asking probably to yourself, hey, Dean, if, if you're... Do you use the tomato or the cream? I'm like, you, um, you can do either or, but you actually could do both. A lot of people love that, that kind of vodka sauce style feel of a tomato vodka. And that's all that is, is adding vodka and then cr like cream and tomato to it to make it like a lighter. And what it does, it kind of takes the acidity away from the tomato a little bit. See, like, like this, we don't really need to cook this. Um, kibasi right now, but what we're looking to do is melt some of the fat from that into this dish. Now, this is going to take about five or six minutes to cook. So now I have my noodles here. You can see these beautiful noodles, right? And these noodles, I'm just going to put in some boiling water I have back here. So I'm going to drop those in one, two, three, four, five little batches of noodles, and I'm going to cook those for about six minutes. I'm going to stir them real quick, right, so they don't stick in about six minutes uh, they're gonna cook all right so I'll see you back in six minutes and we'll get this dish going so I waited about two minutes now I've let this kind of kibasi like flavor cook out the mushrooms are starting to cook down a little bit all the liquids cooking out and cooking together now I want to add my tomato so I'm gonna add my tomato in if you didn't have the tomato and you wanted to add the cream you'd add heavy cream in right now okay and you would cook this down for another probably like three to four or five minutes, that's it. So I'm gonna let this cook um, a little bit longer and we'll see how it looks in like five minutes. See you back. Okay, you guys, I strained the pasta here. I put a little bit, uh, I put like a little tiny bit of the water, the pasta water in there, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is um, I wanna mesh this nice egg noodle in. So. See how I'm just kind of tossing that in my dish here? And I'm going to let that pasta water that was in there and all the starch that's on that pasta melt together with this tomato. Or if you're doing the cream version, the cream, either way. Um, again, I love cream and Gruyere. you got to buy Gruyere. Don't buy a cheap cheese for that. Don't buy a cheap Swiss cheese, you know, the, the, the cheapest variety you can find. Get the Gruyere. I know it's a little more expensive. Use less. Take... 
you know, like a quarter pound. If you use a quarter pound, it's the same price as if you use the pound of the other cheese, you're going to get more flavor and it's better for you, okay? So look how great this looks. This dish already is looking fantastic, okay? Um, at this point, I'm going to add a little bit more pepper. I want to get a little pepper heavy on this. And, and uh, if you did the cream version, a lot of pepper is always good too. Now, I have some uh, Pecorino Romano here. I want to use some Pecorino because I want it nice and salty and dry, this, this uh, cheese. I'm going to add that to the, to the dish. So it's just been grated. Pecorino, you could use Parmesan. Um, in this, because I'm using the tomato, I'm using a, more of an Italian cheese. Um, but you could use, um, like I said, a Gruyere. If you're using something creamy, it would be really nice. Okay, and that's it. I'm done. So this dish, that's what this took us like, really like 12, 15 minutes to do this. And I'm going to show you. Let's see. I've got tongs here. And let's get a little bowl. Okay. Look at those noodles. Wow, they look good. And they're hot. Man, they're hot. That looks so tasty. So I'm going to put that here. Okay. And then I'm going to go around the side here and get plenty of sausage and sprouts and mushrooms and bam there we have beautiful beautiful dish right here look at that super healthy um the the pasta like this egg noodle pasta um is really such a great noodle for this type of dish um let me put this right here and i gotta try it right you guys are not going to believe it's good unless I try it. That looks really hot, though. I'll blow on it first. Still steaming like crazy, huh? So, Brussels sprouts, sausage, mushroom, tomato. Like I said, if you want to add cream to this and go the creamy route, you could do that with or without the tomato. Definitely add a little bit of Gruyere. Mmm. Hot. So good. What I love, I won't talk with my mouthful like I always do, right? Um, what I love about this dish is how the sausage, smoke kielbasa, it, it just puts this like beautiful sausage flavor through the whole dish. You don't, it's not just in the bites with sausage, it's everywhere. It's so smooth so beautiful if you love that kind of thing you will love this quick to make it home for your family or friends or loved one whatever you got so hope you like it give me a thumbs up if you do and um make some notes uh give me some comments and let me know what you're thinking about it or if you have any questions on this and i'll see you back soon for another video i'm chef dean max